what I've got here is the uh, Rockler dovetail jig and I'm going to be making some dovetails for this little treasure chest that I'm building you can kind of see in the corner and these are the pieces here which are already labeled what's inside which way goes up so on and so forth so anyhow with that I am going to be starting with a uh, couple of test pieces here and uh, this one goes in the front here and the other is the I'm not sure why you need it for a through dovetail but oops. but here's the issue the instructions say the backer sheet the same width plus a one quarter inch shim and I'm trying to figure out why why the shim so I'm adjusting the stop here and I think I found out why actually I should just leave it like it is and show you what's going on so this comes up here like this this is the piece where we're going to do the tails first and we come up and just touch it there and not going to cut like that nothing straight or anything but what I found was the reason why they want to put that little quarter inch piece in there is when you take your router and you go to cut it's going to hit the metal so what they do oh that's heavy is tell you to put this uh, quarter inch shim in there so let's get that in and then take another look this piece is for half line dovetails it's the stop that keeps the router from going too deep this here now what they'd like you to do is use a backer board but I'm just going to put this one up here just for no reason whatsoever actually I'll pull it back if you do it right it prevents uh, tear out in the back so that's why it's good to have a piece so there's that clamp that down that was a little tight bring the router up and now you can see there's clearance that's the only reason I can figure out what they're doing with that but uh, others are not like that the quarter cable I don't think does the same thing uh, neither does the lay dr4 which is the cream in the crop so now one of the setup things is to keep the spacing here and here um, equal if you want the uh, the joints to be the same the pieces that I'm actually going to cut are a little bit wider so I'm going to have to adjust this first but I'm going to get the depth and all that other stuff set up on this piece first so now the depth here if I can show you this up against the top square against the side and there we go now the bottom of the router bit should be right in the middle of that pencil line let's see how good I did and that does look pretty close 
Sorry about being shaky. But that set, sideways position is set. And we're now ready to make the cut. Uh, one thing I wanted to mention before we went any further was how did I get that depth line there? Well, this is the matching piece, and I just stuck it up there and just ran the pencil along there, and that's where the line is. I did not use the depth stop up here. So, let's see how this is going to work. Oops. That's a little loose. Could be embarrassing. Okay, everything's stiff. And let me back that out of there a little bit. That is the mating piece, and I don't want to tear up the edge. Although it is a test piece, I could just cut it off. So now I'm checking everything again, making sure my depth is good there. Oh, that's not straight. Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's try that again. Now it is. Depth is the same. All right. Oops. I could get a better angle. big delay on the display. All right, here we go. And we're going to be cutting from right to left. Now, let's start over here. I don't think it matters, but we'll see. That's what we end up with. Not bad. <clears throat> now, I'll do the uh, the pins on this other piece here and use this as the backer on that one. And we'll see how it goes from there. <clears throat> now, in order to set this one up, these are my three pieces with the quarter inch shim. This piece gets changed out. The 
they should just give you extra nuts so you don't have to take this part apart. Now, as you can see, this one here says through dovetail tails. It's also the half blind piece, but not doing those. This is the other piece. And this is through dovetail pins. So we'll go ahead and put these pieces together. I think I like the ones where you just flip them over better. Seems like it would be easier. Now what I'm doing here is this is a 5 8 inch material and it says for through dovetail pins it's F for half inch stock and it's F for three quarter inch stock. So I'm going to guess that five eighths inch stock is also going to be F and F just happens to be right there. And the same on this side here. F. Now you also notice this here. That's when we get done we'll be moving this one to adjust the uh, fit not on the tails which is kind of cool as long as the tails are at the right depth uh, everything else should be okay so now this is going to be the stock this is going to be the um, backer board which happens to be my my finished piece. We'll stick that down in there. The quarter inch shim. Come on. Make sure the shim gets underneath the, the template. Uh, set that at F. down. So this one's the same. It is. Tighten it down. All right, so that's that. Well, actually, I'm going to need that piece back. But let's position this piece first. This is going to be the cut piece and I put the on the outside. Bring him up to the top. Make sure it's nice and square. And that will be our our pins. Now in order to do that, we need to switch bits. And this is a little kit they send you with the line dovetails through dovetails and dovetail pins. So I'll switch these out and uh, be right back. Okay, this is the matching piece where the tails are, how thick they are. So all I do is I take and I put that up there nice. And there's my depth line. Put this piece back in. got my depth set just right and let's 
nice and flat. Thing is centered right where it's supposed to be. And now we'll make these cuts. Oops, I suppose I should plug in the router. Always a good idea to unplug it when you change a bit. There we go. So now, let's see how we did. Be pretty cool to get it right on the first try, wouldn't it? And these haven't even been sanded. Uh, let's see here. I think they want to go like this. Way too tight. So we'll bring this guy back up. And now it says to loosen, push it back. So we go off of the dead F and maybe just a little half a notch. And half a notch. And we'll see what that does. Put it back in right where it was before. that maybe in there. There we go. And now it should just take a little shaving off and we'll see how this works out. side and nothing off the other and it doesn't look like it's in there right no. and that's why they call it a test piece and we'll see if that works any better
Well, that didn't work out like expected. I think the whole thing's going to be offset by about ten thousandths or so. We'll see. Perfectly flat. A little bit loose, but tight enough for a box now. I think that's pretty damn good. All right. That's it for the video.